Hello everybody, my name is Gruffy Spackler and welcome to the best possible review of peaches. Today I got some real nice uh, peaches right here. You can tell that these are peaches and not nectarines due to the fact that they're not very, they're, 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 they're fuzzy. They're not they're more fuzzy than nectarines. You can feel it by the touch. The touch of them, very fuzzy. It tastes just like, it feels just like you're patting a dog. A very, very hairy dog, like a, like a German Shepherd or a Collie or something, I don't know. Uh, to, to, I'm gonna show you all the various ways in which you can use a peach. Uh, you can eat them. That is one option. They're very juicy fruits with a huge pit in the middle. So be careful of that pit. I know someone who once broke a tooth on the pit of a, of a peach. It was the pits for them. But due to the juiciness of the fruit, it's very good in smoothies. So today we're gonna be making a peach smoothie, everyone. I got a blender here and everything. Uh, it's very sweet, very, very, tastes kind of like uh, a plum if you put, if you put lemon in it. Probably, I don't know. So to make the smoothie, we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut it in a big circle. In a big circle, and then we just twist. Eh, eh. And the, see the pits right there? We got it out, everyone. So now we just do that, do that. We just cut out, this, cut out the pit. I don't know. The pit's gross. I wish they didn't have them. Uh, however, if they didn't have them, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to make more peaches. Remember that everybody. If you ever eaten a fruit and you're like, ew, I don't like the seeds in this. Remember, those are what make it reproduction viable in these fruits. It's like saying, ew, I don't like babies. They're like, without them, we'd be dead. So I'm slowly training myself to not uh, focus on the bugs that are constantly surrounding me due to the fact that I'm uh, cutting up very sweet fruits while outside. So after we get all this, all the all the pit bits out, all the pit boys, we just chuck them to the side, and we put them in the blender. I'm really gonna be the only one who's drinking this this delicious smoothie. I'm I'm just gonna make one cup. So one one peach should be enough. So what we do is we add. We add, we add some milk to the peach, just like a bit. I don't know how much, you decide. That looks good, I guess. And we add some uh, vanilla yogurt. I wonder if this is still good, let's find out. Just add a lot of yogurt. And then we add the health powder. Uh, what, what's in the health powder? Don't ask me, I have no clue, but, it, but it's healthy. So we just add a bunch of that, and we, and we, we spill the health powder everywhere, obviously. Uh, 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 where's the lid to the blender? Oh, there it is. And now I'll demonstrate why it's important to put the lid on the blender. I was kind of expecting it to like explode out of the top of the blender and be like, oh, learn now you learned your lesson. But um, it, it didn't, it didn't do that. So I guess blending smoothies is okay to do without a lid if that is, if there's barely any stuff on top of it. Like, like this is, this is like a cup of liquid. So use a lid. If you're if you, if you if you're using more than a couple li liquid, that's the lesson. That's the lesson of the day. And the uh, the health juice made this look pretty nasty. This looks pretty disgusting. It looks like well poop. I, I don't or mud. Well, mud and poop are basically the same thing. So uh, the comparison's kind of moot. But uh, a little too much health powder. A little 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 too much health powder. Um, if I remade this, I wouldn't use vanilla yogurt. I would use no yogurt. I'd just use milk, maybe add some ice in there, 
and I would just not use health powder. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It makes it look and taste like dirt. But yes, peach is excellent fruit. Uh, I, can, I can taste the full brunt of the health powder in my mouth. It's disgusting. It's like, it's as if, it's as if, it's as if I'm drinking flour. You hear that moron mowing? He's been doing that all day. He's literally been mowing for upwards of three hours. If, you're, if your life is so pointless that you mow your lawn, your tiny little trailer lawn, for, for three hours, you need to rethink your life, buddy. So yeah, this is, this is trash. Don't use health powder. Remember to subscribe to catch my next video where I drink actual mud. Good night.